Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Last time I was talking about the concept, our significance of tawaf. Today I'm going to talk about sa'd. As we know, whether we perform hajj or umrah, the first thing we said, we start off with performing tawaf, going seven rounds, okay? And after those seven rounds, of course, we have to perform two rakat, regardless, either by the Maqam Ibrahim or anywhere in the masjid. Don't restrict it there because it will be too crowded, too congested, actually. But anyway, this is not the point. The point is, I'm talking about sa'i. Now, uh, after we finish tawaf, okay, perform two rakat for tawaf, and proceed towards as-safa. As we know, as-safa and al-marwa, two, two um, hills. Okay, and then the Prophet Muhammad, may Allah exalt his mention, when he went, after he finished tawaf, he said, Nabda'u bima bada'a bihi Allah. We start off with what, the, what Allah started off with. That is to say, uh, Allah says, and this, of course, uh, uh, refers to a verse in the Quran, Surah Al Baqarah. Allah says, Inna safa wal marwata min sha'air Allah. So he started with Safa. He did not say in in al Marwa wa Safa. Allah said in the Safa wal Marwa. In other words, he started off with uh, mentioning the name of al Safa. Al Safa. Once we finish tawaf, we uh, go all the way. We don't have to climb up all the way on top, but the foot of that um, hill, um, it's enough. So uh, we say, on our way, we repeat the words of Allah, Inna as-safa wal marwa min sha'airillah. Verily, as-safa and al-marwa are among the rituals of Allah. So, uh, what's the idea of going back and forth, back and forth? You see, I, I, listen, brothers and sisters, I'm here to give you an idea about the rituals of Hajj so that you don't wonder sometimes, you know, when you perform tawaf or say or whatever. Why am I doing that? Hey, brothers, uh, I'll save you the answer to this question. First of all, don't ask. Because you see, uh, in terms of acts of worship, we uh, really uh, don't have to question uh, the rationale or the reason for it. You see, we say, سَمِعْنَا وَأَطَعْنَا We hear and we obey. Now, as you find out we're going one round, seven rounds, of course, from As-Safa to Al-Marwa, that's one. Back to As Safa 2, back to Al Marwa 3, on, 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 until we finish the seventh, we end up on Al Marwa. Okay? But why? I know that, um, uh, it, of course, it's, um, the rituals of Hajj are related to whatever uh, uh, Abraham or uh, Ibrahim and, um, and Ismail, um, you know, from their time, Allah Ta'ala mentioned that, that Muslims have to perform Hajj, but the, the point is, when it comes to Sa'i, going between Safa and Marwa, we know that um, uh, when um, Ibrahim um, left uh, Hajar, that is the mother of Ismail, and Ismail, when he was an infant, he left him uh, somewhere in Mecca, okay? And um, he left them, that's what he was commanded. And he said, oh Allah, I left my part of my household in a barren place, uh, a, a valley that has no uh, greenery at all. So, um, well, this is actually, um, it was, it was uh, somehow difficult for uh, the mother of that infant because she had only a, a water bag and a bag of dates eventually and, and she had to uh, breastfeed her baby. So when she ran out of water and dates, and the baby starts screaming. She had no milk in her breast. And uh, she had no water nor nothing else to eat. And she um, wanted to see if there are some people coming so that to, she would seek their help in order to get some water, um, you know, for the baby is, is um, you know, screaming because he was uh, hungry. However, uh, she climbed the highest point where she was. It so happened it was a safa. Looking around, she couldn't find, and she went down all the way, and she mounted the Al Marwa, 
Again, she looked around, back and forth, back and forth. She did it seven times, okay? And after the seventh time, she heard a sound. She said to herself, shh. In other words, she wanted to hear what, uh, she heard some noise. And sure enough, when she looked towards the uh, direction where her baby was left, because she uh, left him there and she went climbing up and forth, back and forth between Safa and Marwa in order to see if she could see any human being there or something like that. However, when she looked at the direction where the baby was left, she uh, noticed that uh, some water starts um, springing up. She rushed there. It was actually Gabriel who with the tip of his wing hit the sand and the so, so now when we talk about Sa'id, this is remember the story of um, Hajar, the mother of Ishmael, and what happened to her and how Allah relieved her by uh, sending Gabriel who uh, with the tip of his wing hit the sands and the, and, and the water came out. So it is, it is uh, of course, due to the mercy of Allah. Now, if somebody asks you, whether Muslim or non-Muslims, about uh, uh, the uh, reason for Sa'id, now you remember, you watch this a clip, and remember that what you watch, tell people about it. Okay? Inshallah, next time I'll be talking about some other rituals of Hajj. Salaam alaikum.